Wow, this is beautiful. Ooh, we're in the Georgia Bay. That was a little scary. I've been a little bit more stressed since we saw the rattlesnake. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers, all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Severn Bay and going into the, the Georgian, Georgian Bay. Bay today. It's, oh uh, I can't gosh. believe it. Today is one of those days that we've been looking forward to for such a long time and we are so excited to be here. And it couldn't have started better. Last night and this morning we were at uh, one of our subscribers houses and thank you so much to Michael and Shawnee for hosting us. We really appreciate it and they are future loopers um, so they're gonna have a great time. Yeah, thank you so much. We really appreciated it. And today we have only a short cruise. Um, we're going to be taking the small craft route here in the Georgian Bay. And that's gonna start with the Beausoleil Island. And so we're gonna try to find a nice anchorage, do some hiking, it's gonna be fantastic. And the water is like glass, it's amazing. One of the things I'm being very careful with now that we're in the Georgian Bay, which is Rock City, is staying in the channel and going to marked channels. So going to Beausoleil from where we just were near Victoria Harbor in a Midland area, uh, Navionics auto routed me, which would look like a great, uh, great path to Beausoleil, to the anchorage we're going to. But looking at the route a little bit closer, it looked the charts looked fine, the depth looked fine, but there's no buoys in Navionics and no markers. So what I had to do was kind of add a few more waypoints to the channel that's marked. And it's a little bit longer, uh, not much longer, but by it being marked, we know we can get through versus going by the sonar depths and the charts and avionics, which we should get through. It should be fine, it probably is fine. But the risk when you run aground here is it's a hard grounding. These rocks have been here for millions of years. They're not moving. <laughs> Pivot will uh, be a little bit worse for wear. This theme, I'm sure, will be present all throughout the small boat channel and all throughout the Georgian Bay and the North Channel. There are so many boats out today. It is like perfect weather. It's Friday. It's pretty warm, so it's a good day to go swimming. And we are approaching our final destination, which is Chimney Bay. It's an anchor in this protected area near Beausoleil Island. And um, there's already a ton of boats here. So we're gonna kind of just go slow and, and uh, you know, try to find a, a spot. We haven't anchored in a very long time not on the, any of the canals, once in the Thousand Islands area, but now it's back to anchoring. So we're gonna go back to the basics, make sure we give enough room to swing. The big tricky thing is stern tying to the rocks. We've never done that before. We know we will do it in the Georgian Bay, but we don't know if it'll be the first place or just later. Yeah, we said 
saved a spot for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Safe travels. <laughs> Take care. See ya. Well, our uh, friends from Wildlife, who we were at um, the dock with in um, Big Shoot, just came out of uh, Ojibwe. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing some of these uh, improperly, but um, they just came out of here. This is, there's a dock here, and uh, which means there's a spot now. So we're going to nick on over to see if uh, it works. And Because uh, the thing is, you have to pay when you come onto the island anyway. Um, so might as well be on a dock. It might be more expensive, probably is, but uh, we might do that instead of um, anchor. We'll see. We're just going to nick on over and then turn right around if it's not good. Well, that went exceptionally well. Uh, we decided just to take this dock because it'll be easier for us to just do our hiking and activities that we wanted to do here. Um, we haven't decided if we're gonna stay here tonight or leave. Um, the difference in staying for the day and the night is 50 cents a foot. So it's 50 cents a foot to stay for the day, a dollar a foot to stay for the night. Um, but the reason why I'm sorta of iffy about it is because um, it's very hot today and uh, it'd be nice to be at anchor to have a breeze coming through the boat. At the same point, there's not really supposed to be any wind tonight, so... Who knows, maybe we'll just go for a swim and stay here overnight. What do you think? We are at the Georgian Bay Islands National Park in Canada, which I think is one of three of their national parks that are only accessible by boat, and the other one being the Thousand Islands, which we also visited, which is really cool. No? Let's go hiking. Let's go. We decided to stay the night. And the way they do it here is they have these slips that you fill out. So they either take credit card, check, or cash. You put half of it on uh, your window, and you put the other half in a slip. Dominus. What was that, Ellen? Oh, it's really clear there, right? Eh? Yeah. Where we have been forewarned many times about the rattlesnakes that are here on Bosale Island. They are Massasaguay rattlers, could be pronouncing that wrong, but they are small rattlers and they give a very fierce bite. Not deadly, but yeah, you need antivenom um, and you need medical attention. So we've been told about stories that people have been helicoptered out, um, flown to the local hospital and addressed. So we're going to be very attentive very, very, very attentive to the rattlesnakes. And that goes mainly for Ollie, making sure she stays on the trail. She's gonna be on a short leash. She's gonna be on a short leash. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. We are starting the Masasagwe Trail which this is named for the resident species of rattlesnake. Um, this rocky trail gets great views of the eastern shoreline. So well, let's get some great views of the eastern shoreline. The trail's pretty well marked. They have these stakes in the places that it's ambiguous, but it's pretty, you know, makes, makes pretty good sense. Here's the placard. So this is how big it is. See, it's not huge, right? Barely sighted, preferring to avoid detection and take shelter. Hmm. They're the protectors of the plants. It's pretty cool. 
So over 20 boats here. This is where we were planning on going. This is the Chimney Bay anchorage. And so it pivots just that way and then that way. But look how clear this water is. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. Ready. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> she like tried to put the brakes on and then realized she was sliding down. Let's go, let's go. Ollie. Oh, okay, okay, calm it down, alright? Ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Hey, no biting. Sit. No biting. Sit. Ready? Sit. Good girl. Her <laughs> <laughs> slipping and sliding is the funniest thing. Come on, are you okay? Get it, Ollie. That is a big rock. Is that a rock heavier than you are? Oh, he's got strong neck muscles, eh? Yeah, and jaw muscles. Good, you're good. Keep going. Yes, yes, swim. She's really going out there, eh? Good girl, good girl. Hey, let's go back, come on. Okay, yeah, you can bring your rock if you want to. Good job, babe. Good job. Great rock. Great work. Body. High five. Okay, lead the way, new pupper. A little intense. Yeah. <laughs> Paths have been very rocky, so we're just walking on like huge, massive rocks. It's not even like individual boulders. It's just like the the rock. I don't know what else to call it, which is diff very different than majority of our hikes that we've experienced in the Southeast United States. So we're really enjoying the different terrain and the different views that we have. Oh, so much cooler in the shade. We are here at Frying Pan Bay, and this is another part of the same island, um, but at the northern section. There are 19 boats either at the dock or anchored in this bay. Several of them are either rafted, some of them are stern tied to the shore, but it's really beautiful. The water is clear, and it's very quiet, secluded, very nice. trappers uh, from the Lake Huron area would come here to Frying Pan Bay as a stopover point in between trading to spend time with their family. So many places on the loop you either hear like you learn the surface level to in going growing up in school um, in history class and then other places you know none of the history of and so like learning the history it's very interesting and like uh, gives a deeper appreciation for the area and what this place meant to other people. I'm standing on the trail right adjacent to Goblin Lake and I can see that my feet are at a lower elevation than the top level of the water on Goblin Lake, which is kind of freaky. It's it's a little, it's like a mind twister. Yeah, I wonder if this was uh, done by a beaver. They said there are beaver in the lake. Oh yeah, there could be. 
the Georgian Bay, which holds the 30,000 Islands, which is the largest freshwater archipelago in the entire world, which is such a neat thing that we're here and experiencing it. Yeah. Um. There was a pretty large rattler snake right there. It did not rattle and it did strike at me. Whew. It's sitting right in those trees over there. We can just step back, did not film. Oh my God. Okay. Here, you take the, you take uh Precious? No, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold Precious, okay? That was a little scary. It like tried to get me like twice, but I was pretty far away because it was on the like far side of the like the little walkway. And Ollie was, I had Ollie like really short on the leash just because that's how we walk with her. We don't let her really run, run around, especially here. Oh, and I'm glad I didn't because it was just right there. And uh, it, as soon as I backed off, it like went in the bushes, but I was bigger than I thought, right? Yeah, that was bigger than I thought. It was just very thick. It was thick and it was bigger than the one, the sign that we saw. So if you saw that, so if that puts it into perspective a little bit. Yeah, but not too much larger than the sign. Not too much larger. A little bit thicker and maybe another six inches longer, maybe. Max. 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 Wow. Yeah. Oh. No bother to Ollie. She's just resting. Ready to go? Come on. Come on. Our final turn for the day is on the Portage Trail, which goes back to the Ojibwe dock. And Portage uh, signifies when you take your canoe or kayak or boat and you go from water and you bring it over the land to more water. So apparently that's what they used to do on this small uh, section of the trail. <sighs> I've been a little bit more stressed since we saw the rattlesnake. Shocker. I definitely would be lying if I said that I wasn't on the lookout for more rattles, more so after we saw one too. It's a little bit rattling. <laughs> I see a pivot. Yes. Oh man, just beyond yonder, beyond those trees. Yay. Right there. That's amazing. That was about four miles and just about three hours of hiking. Good job. And one Great rattlesnake. Job. Oh, doesn't feel too bad in here, right? No. Uh, We've uh, learned in a few thousand miles in the loop. <laughs> if you're staying on the boat and it's hot, put the window shades on immediately, immediately. Because we always put them on in a marina, or most of the time, uh, for privacy. But really, for shade and, and sun, that's what really, really helps with keeping the boat cool. Yay! Dinner. Tonight we're having some grilled sausages. There are spiders everywhere. There's a spider right there. Oh my word. The land of spiders. They're everywhere. Dock spiders, right? And dock spiders. Tonight we're having grilled sausages. Ollie's having his with mustard, mine with ketchup and a side salad basically we're kind of going in um one eat as much uh, cook as much outside two no cooking required foods salad and three get the f eat the food that needs to be eaten based off of its life span
<laughs> bon appetit. I haven't been able to find oyster mushrooms in the US and I found them in a grocery store here in Canada. So I bought them and I just like seared them and I pressed them to try and get the moisture out. An oyster steak, but um, we'll see how it goes. I don't really know. Yeah, what do you think about our view? Great view. Very pretty. Yeah, the sun's very bright right now. Yeah, I'm very We are ending our first night out on the Georgian Bay right and that means we're playing some shithead which is our favorite card game a couple drinks yeah and so we're just playing some music hanging out on the fly bridge it's a really chill night and it feels good just to get outside of the cabin so it feels good to be up here cheers cheers That was a fantastic first day here in the Georgian Bay. Yeah, we had such a good time today. Everything that we could have asked for. A lovely cruise and like having the convenience of the dock just to get ashore. It was so nice. Tomorrow we have an early morning departure to continue up the bay. And uh, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah. Buzzley Island was an absolute win though. We really enjoyed it here. Definitely. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Good, Good morning. morning. We are in the Severn Bay and going into the, the George. This is a mess. Hello. 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 Now this trail, hold on. All right. There's snakes about here. What? Talking to Ollie. See, it's not huge, right? Yeah. Shorty thick though. You got See. muscle.